What is going on guys? Welcome back to our e-commerce century community. Very excited for this video because today I'm going to break down how it was that I got it started into NFTs and especially in this case into VV NFTs. Most of you guys know me for the e-commerce guys, for the guy who builds stores online, especially on eBay. I also teach people how to build their own businesses, how to set up their LLCs, their corporations, uh, how to get business credit, how to get funding for the business, etc. But in this case, I have jumped almost full time now into NFTs, buying, reselling, and also holding a lot of valuables NFT. And most of my NFTs right now are inside the Vivi marketplace. I got into Vivi thanks to a cryptocurrency that I was invested on, which is called Ecomi. It's basically the coin behind the Vivi NFT project. I bought the coin, I was excited about it. Uh, I was doing research and then I found out that the VV uh, NFTs were actually a, a big part of this coin. It was, not, it was not just a project linked to it. So I bought my first VV NFTs back in May of 2021 and I just forgot about it. I just bought them because I was like, hey, I'm invested on this project. So I may as well uh, like try the product and see and see what they're all about. So I bought these NFTs back in May. I remember in one drop, I got like six of them. Uh, I put like 50 bucks inside the app and I bought Cryptons, I think is the name of the drop that I got. Uh, I bought like five of those and I never looked at that again until October of 2021 when I was doing research about the coin, about OMI. And I see these guys saying that uh, thanks to the Master Collector programs, uh, prices are gonna go crazy. And I was like, hey, maybe I can sell this, this uh, Cryptons that I bought for like $6.99. Maybe I can resell them and make some money and try this thing out. So I listed those Cryptons for sale. And in the same day, I sold them all for literally 5X what I had paid for. At that moment, I literally got hooked into the NFT marketplace. I remember they had a few drops coming. So I used the money that I had from flipping these Cryptons to buy into more NFTs. I got uh, the Wally from Disney and I resold that right away for like 4X the price, over 4X the price uh, that, I, that I got it for. I remember I took my $50 account to over $1,300 just flipping NFTs and I was hooked on it. Since then, I put more money into the app and today I have a big portfolio. I wanna say only in Vivi I have like 81 NFTs a lot of those are grails inside the app and in other videos we're going to break down what grails are and how you can get your hands on those because over time those are going to be the ones who do the best there are a lot more nft projects and platforms out there but there's something very special about vivi and it is that they're not just any marketplace for nft they're a marketplace where you can actually give utility to your collectibles inside vivi on uh, AR and you can actually play with them. Uh, you can trade your collectibles and they're not just this uh, doodles that someone did. These are very detailed NFTs, beautiful pieces of art. And also most of the NFTs inside the VV marketplace, they are big IP NFTs, meaning that this IP, what it means is that intellectual property. So these NFTs inside VV, they're mainly for big, big, big IPs like Disney, like Marvel, like DC, Adventure Times, and the whole nine yards. These people are just killing it. And what I mean by this is that you are putting your money in a more safe environment. It's not the same team buying just a random monkey uh, that you saw on open seas than actually buying one of these NFTs from a big IP. Why? Because Disney is not just any project that they're gonna run with their money and go ghost on you. No, it's not gonna happen because it's Disney. It's not gonna happen because it's Marvel, it's big IPs. And this is one of the things that you gotta look for when you invest on your NFTs. Of course, besides the IP, you also gotta look at community. Like for example, CryptoPunks, uh, Bore, Bore Apes Yacht Club, so I'm not, I'm not uh, downgrading on those. Those are great projects, but again, they have a big community behind it, which is something that is good for the NFT that you're looking to purchase, and also utility. If your NFT does not have utility, chances are that uh, if, it's, if it doesn't have a good IP or a good community behind it, it's not gonna be very valuable. You gotta look at the utility behind your NFTs. Like for example, I remember when I bought my Disney NFT, they gave me 
a free subscription to Disney Plus for a certain amount of months. And just like that, they can come up with a lot more utility. So that was how I got started into NFTs and especially into VV NFTs. I do have other marketplaces that I own NFTs from and I will cover that in other videos. But the one for today is just breaking down VV because I think for those of you who are starting out it is the best uh, platform that you can just go in, create an account and start buying your NFTs without knowing anything about crypto. You can just plug in your bank account or like through Apple Pay and you can purchase your first NFT without opening a MetaMask wallet or any type of cryptocurrency uh, involvement. So if you wanna get started with NFTs, all you have to do is go to your app store, download VV, create an account with them, load some gems that you're gonna see how to do it uh, in, inside there. And I will also most likely create a video showing you guys how to uh, add gems to your account. This is just my first video regarding NFT, so I'm going over it uh, so you guys can get it started already and not waste more time because right now we're seeing a lot of first appearance of big IPs, NFTs that you don't want to miss out on. So as soon as you get your hands inside Vivi and you start purchasing, and you start purchasing your NFTs, the better for you. A quick recap for the video. Uh, if you want to get it started into NFTs, the easiest way, download the Vivi app, create an account with them, and you will be good to go. Uh, this Saturday, I believe is the 8th. Yeah, this Saturday, uh, January 8th, there's a drop coming up that you can take advantage of. It's like $16 to get these NFTs. So I would suggest that you get your account ready and you try your luck with this first drop and you're gonna see how everything evolves after you purchase the first NFTs. This is just the first video. I'll be posting a lot more videos regarding Vivi and regarding my journey inside the Vivi and NFT community in general. So make sure you subscribe to the e-commerce century community. This is just the beginning. And if you don't have credit, if you don't have funding to purchase, to purchase your NFTs, make sure that you go ahead and you check out one of my last videos here where I show you how to set up your first LLC and get funded uh, for that business that you can use that funding money to invest into NFTs, which is what I've done. Now again, make sure you're following us at e-commerce century. Make sure that that notification bell is on because we're just getting it started with NFT content and we're gonna be uploading a lot of videos so you guys can take advantage of, of the NFT space now that it's just beginning. Thank you.